Good morning and welcome to Tabletop Tuesday here on Gaming with ADHD, where today we are going to be taking a look at Animal Upon Animal Dinos, uh, and I've got an extra surprise for you here in a minute, uh, and I'm also going to do a quick review on it. This is uh, a smaller game, so doing an unboxing video would take like two minutes and might as well just wrap it into a review. So before we do that though, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I do try to get a couple of videos out each week covering all sorts of tabletop gaming content. And I'd love for you to come along and see what we have to offer. With that said, there's also a link down below to our Facebook page, I'm trying to build that up so that, that way you can get notifications uh, you know, while you know, you're in different social medias. So we'd love for you to follow us there and you know, support us in that way as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And this is actually gonna be the first review that I'm going to do for uh, the month of November leading up to uh, Christmas. Basically, games that I think are going to be good for kids. And so since they're typically who get these kinds of gifts, then, you know, make sure that, you know, you've got some good suggestions. So this is the dino edition of Animal Upon Animal. Now, you may not be able to find it. When we picked it up, it was technically on clearance at Barnes & Noble, but you may still be able to find it. If you can't, you can still get the regular Animal Upon Animal. Basically, they change the shapes of the animals that are available inside. So there are different versions out there to be aware of, but for all intents and purposes, they are the exact same game. They play the exact same way. So, you know, you're welcome to try any of the different ones, but we have the dino version. All right, so obviously we've got our silly little dinos right here on the cover. And let's see, basic instructions on the back, which let's be honest, I mean, they're pretty complete. Basically you have a dice, you're gonna roll it, based on what the die result is, will determine how you start stacking your animals. Uh, there's a set of shapes that each player will have, and first player person to get rid of all of their animals, uh, you know, is the winner of the game. All right, so we've got, you know, open it up, and we've got a couple little dinos that you can see through the window, and then we've got the bag of dinos. So that's it. They're all wood painted. Uh, the crocodile uh, actually does have a little bit of texture on it to give it some look. And the crocodile is what you're going to be ba uh, putting your animals on top of. Um, yeah, we have Stegosaurus, T-Rex, uh, whatever version. I. I grew up in the 80s. It's still a brontosaurus to me. Uh, Triceratops and a mammoth tusk or a dino tooth or whatever. Anyways, so everybody's going to get a set of these. Uh, oh, looks like we've got a turtle as well. So everybody gets their set. That's what they'll build off of. When you roll the dice, you'll be told to put one or two pieces. You'll pick a piece, hand it to another player and make them play it. You will be able to put a piece next uh, next to the alligator, so like this, uh, or um, actually, I forget what the question mark is. So the instruction book is underneath. I did find that a little odd. Uh, the question mark is oh the other players will pick it and. Uh, if, you know, yeah, the other players, the question mark, other players will pick the, the, the piece that you have to play. So that's it for the game. So, um, if you, oh, that's one thing. So it is a dexterity game. You are trying to put the, you know, stack the pieces up. Uh, if you are playing and you knock the pieces over, uh, if you knock over all of them, you have to take two pieces, put the rest in the box. So you're not going to have to replay the entire game. Uh, if you knock over just one piece, then you have to take that one and put it in your hand. Uh, so 
you know, and anytime pieces fall, the turn is automatically over. So basically, um, it's it's really aimed at kids, and you know, especially on the smaller side, they're going to have tougher challenges uh, being able to, you know, uh, to play successfully. But that doesn't matter. Um, even us grown-ups will have trouble with it from time to time. Uh, overall, I absolutely loved this game. Uh, we had some friends over with smaller children. Uh, we were having game night. The kids, you know, came along because uh, they're, you know, they're single friends. They didn't have any choice on what to do with the kids. So, you know, we try have been trying to get more games that the the little kids can play. Uh, and still enjoy. But this one actually turned out to be a lot of fun for the adults as well. Uh, it does say that it's for two to four players. And what was actually kind of interesting is uh, we let the parents and the children play. But even uh, my wife and I who were just watching, um, and I'm looking at the wrong place, uh, my wife and I who were just watching ended up really, really enjoying just watching and cheering everyone on. It's a very well uh, crafted, a very well designed game that is very easy for children to play, but is still an absolute blast for parents. So even if you don't have little kids and you want just a silly little filler game, I would absolutely recommend picking this up. It's probably gonna cost you less than $20. Uh, like I said, we picked ours up uh, at clearance uh, but I did do some research and it's still going for about $20 right now. So there is that option. Now, one thing you may also find is uh, there is also a unicorn version. There's a Christmas version. Uh, the unicorn uh, version is a little bit different. So the original game has an alligator and so do the dinos. The unicorns have this, uh, this flower field. So... But at the end of the day, it's the same rules. But you'll notice that they have flowers and birds and butterflies and little unicorns and medium unicorns and big unicorns. So, uh, you know, definitely aimed at the kids who like the little unicorns and flowers and such. Uh, but overall, you know, whichever version you have, like I said, the rules are still the same, but it is an absolute blast to play. And I 100% recommend that you check this out for the little people in your gaming group. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like I said, I'll be putting out uh, videos each week uh, in November uh, leading up to Christmas. So you have some ideas for gifts for the kids. And I hope it helps. So, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time.